Good morning traders. So how do we trade the Aussie today? So I think let's just start off with a weekly quickly and uh, you'll see this weekly bar is a pretty big rejection bar and um, it's come off that previous high. So we've got a, a rejection off there although the alligator has turned to the upside and pointing up and we have crossed over the zero line here. So there is a possibility that this is just going to be a retracement and then another move to the upside. Um, there's also the possibility that this could indicate a bigger move to the downside. So for now I think um, we're still going to be trading the lower time frames and take your profit as often as possible. So what do we have at the moment? We've got a, a pullback and as I suggested on Friday we rallied, uh, we sort of pushed hard to the downside and then we um, went sideways. We'll have a look at that in the lower time frames now. Uh, what I want to do is just get these breakout levels into play. I want that one. Okay, so this tail here and this tail here. Those are the two levels that I'm looking at at the moment. And uh, let's just double check how far that is. Yeah, so that's a good 500 points. So that's kind of what I'd be looking at. And then worst case scenario would be a fall down to the 200 moving average here on the daily. Okay, so let's get to the half hour. Let's see what we have today. So, as I said yesterday, oh, sorry, on Friday, we pushed down and then we just basically went sideways for the rest of the day. Okay, so the, the downward move was fairly significant. Um, I mean, that was roughly 600 points uh, before we just consolidated. Now, the consolidation and I think we can just use this one, basically means that what we're looking for is a break either side of that consolidation for us to get some direction. Okay, now the usual, the usual suspects are down, so um, 10 cents is down, uh, Rand dollar, uh, so the, the Rand is weaker, dollar is stronger, and also you know, oil is ever so slightly down. So at this stage, it's looking like we have some downside to come. Now, what I'd like to do here is just work out that's 447. Oh, okay. So you can see on the four hour, we've got the 200 moving average here. We've got the daily 200 moving average here as well. So that's kind of the area that I'm expecting us to, to come into. And this is also the, um, well, it depends where we draw it from. If we put our Fibonacci from there, we are pretty close to the 50% with a 61.8 sitting on the next level. Now, if we extend that to the absolute bottom, you'll see how the 61.8 lines up with the 200 moving average on the four hour and the 200 moving average on the daily is almost in the same area. So this is kind of the area that I'm expecting us to pull back into. Okay, so that's just, it's a pretty big area, but we can have a look at that now. Right, so That's the area that I'm expecting us to get into, which is pretty much around um, 51200 or 51620. So that's kind of the, the area that I'm looking for us to get into uh, before we get some kind of a, a pullback. Now, as you can see, we moved aggressively to the downside. We are below the alligator. We've gone sideways and we've tested the break of the 200 moving average as well as the midline of the alligator which is our teeth um, basically this red line here so for me we break below the low of Friday we are getting more downside and we're looking for 51620 followed by 51208 51200 basically yeah there's a little gap here so that's kind of 
the area that I'm looking at and then obviously we can put that level in as well. Okay, so that's my take on this at the moment. I'm expecting more downside and uh, we'll be looking for 516, sorry, yeah, 51620 followed by, by sorry, this block is 51200 and then followed by 55950. Okay, those are the levels that I'm looking at for the downside. Uh, the only thing that's going to change my mind and move to the upside is going to be a break above this fractal here, which is going to be uh, 52400. Okay, if we get up above 52400 and hold, then uh, shorts are off and we're looking for longs. Okay, so that's kind of um, what I'm looking at. And there are a couple of potential extended targets. So this is the first one. Okay, that one lines up there. Just correct. Then that's the next logical one. And that lines up with the bottom level. So there are a couple of um, fairly significant measured moves here. So this is the one from there down to there, and the other one is from here to there. Okay, so obviously, depending on your risk profile, uh, we're not going to be able to. Oh, there we go. All right, so I just want to get rid of some of the noise. So depending on, on your risk profile, you'll either aim for this measured move or this measured move or just the range height. Okay, so range height would get us to here, which lines up with this measured move, and then this measured move would get us to the bottom here. And then you also have another one potentially from the top here to here. But um, for me, this was a pullback and then we've come back and tested a break, the break of the alligator. So for me, this is the most logical one here. So first this little one and then this measured move here. Okay, so anyway, that's my take on this today. I'm expecting more downside and everything hinges on the break of 51985. If we get through there, then we're definitely looking for the next three levels to the downside, and it's uh, 51620, uh, 51200, and then 5940. Okay, anyway, guys, that's it for me on the Aussie today. I hope it helps, and I'll catch up with you guys later. Enjoy your day. Cheers.